And thank you for joining us for Fox 4 News at 630. I'm Nadine Giannis. I'm Chris Earle. And tonight only on Fox 4 after a Cape Coral man saw his home security video earlier this week. He feared his landscaper had driven over his burrowing owl nest. However, despite those fears tonight, these owls are alive. Thankfully, we know Cape Coral has one of the largest populations in the world. Fox 4 is Colton Chavez live in Cape Coral with an update on this. Yeah, and Colin, in the days since this video was taken, we have learned that no owls were harmed. I'm sure a lot of people grateful to hear that tonight. Yeah, Nadine, I mean, you're echoing the message from a lot of people that I spoke with today. You talked about how many of these owls are here in Cape Coral. You can see a bunch of these little guys just behind me. And as the homeowner tells me, there are two owls in his front yard in the video you just saw, and both of them are okay. But advocates for owls, they took a look at this video as well, and they say that the actions you saw in that video, which also led to a city complaint and a complaint to FWC, those advocates say that is illegal. Now, this comes as these advocates who really dedicate their lives to these owls say more of them are showing up throughout Cape Coral. The moment when longtime Cape Coral resident Christopher says he thought he would never see Ian and Irma, his two front yard burrowing owls, alive again. I was immediately having images of the mower going over and the owls getting decapitated by the mower. Christopher, a lifelong bird enthusiast, says the two owls moved into the front yard last month, and that's when he bought the security camera to keep an eye on them. It's the same time that he says he told their established landscaper to stay away from the blocked off nests. He indicated that he knew the law, he knew the rules, he knew to stay away, and it was the customer's request to stay away from that part on our property. And so I was extremely angry when I saw that going on. A sight for Lori Bullcock, a member of the Cape Coral Friends of Wildlife, <gasps> can't believe. Oh. oh my God. To avoid collapse due to heavy machinery, Florida Fish and Wildlife says grass around burrows should be maintained using weed trimmers and not come within 10 feet of the entrance. Lori says there's no room for excuses. Especially if you're telling me that the homeowner called the company and told them of the existence of it. Um, clearly, if he was thinking about what he was doing, he would have stayed away. It's information that Lori says more people need to be aware of, as she says advocates like herself are noticing a growing number of these owls in the Cape since Hurricane Ian. They're popping up on people's lawns more often. It's so cool. A future of coexisting with the yellow-eyed neighbors that Christopher says. It's not that hard to do an accommodation for the owls. And after receiving this footage today from that homeowner, we have reached out to Florida Fish and Wildlife to see if they're going to move forward with this investigation. And since we haven't heard back from them tonight, that's the reason why we're not identifying either the landscaper or the company they work for. Of course, we're going to continue to push for answers and we'll update you both on air and online. And if you need a refresher on any of the rules when it comes to being around or even having homes near these protected owls, I have an article live on our website at foxfornow.com. Live in Cape Coral tonight, Colton Chavez, Fox 4.